Turkey has announced that it is going to be increasing some tariffs on U.S. originated products. These products include rice, tobacco, vehicles, alcohol, coal and cosmetics. And just to give you an idea on how much of an increase these tariffs include, passenger cars are going to be increased by 120% of a tariff, alcohol by 140% and tobacco by 60%. So a lot of uh, tariffs are going to be increased from Turkey. Meanwhile, the presidential spokesman has stated that Turkey still expects that uh, problems with the United States are going to be resolved soon. Uh, so still they are believing that they will find a way to once again amend ties with the U.S. However, he did also emphasize that uh, the United States has to respect the judiciary processes in Turkey. And here he's referring to the American pastor still in detention in Turkey as Turkey has rejected an appeal by Brunson, uh, Brunson's lawyer at this point. In the meantime, Turkey has been turning to some other allies for support. On Tuesday, Russian foreign minister was in Ankara where he met with the Turkish foreign minister. On the other hand, on Wednesday, Qatar officials were in Ankara. They met with Turkish President Tayyip Erdogan. And Qatar has pledged to invest $15 billion of an investment in Turkey. And they stated that it would be channeled into Turkish uh, financial markets and banks. Meanwhile, uh, government sources also stated that Erdogan held a phone conversation with Merkel. And on Thursday, he's expected to have a phone conversation with French President Macron. In the meantime, on Thursday, we also expect that Turkish financial minister is going to hold a teleconference with foreign investors. About a thousand people are expected to participate in that teleconference uh, to try and boost the confidence in the Turkish economy. This is Mikhail Bardavid for CGTN in Istanbul.